Shalom, shalom, Yashala, Sha'at Vayana. Today I got another Hebrew lesson for y'all. This is coming out of the New Testament. It's going to be from the book of Ephesians. So I'm going to jump into Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. Give y'all, because we know it was Greek to English, but I'm going to give you the Hebrew translation of um, Ephesians 6 and verse 12. You know what it sounds like if you do word for word and then the literal translation. And then, you know, I'll show you in the descriptions as well. All right, so let me go ahead and share my screen with y'all. We can jump right into this. See where we at. Bam, got you. Okay. All right, so here we go. We got the book of Ephesians, chapter 6 and verse 12. Zoom in a little bit. All right, so here I got the symbols, and I got the pronunciation of the symbols down here. You know, and I'm always remember Hebrew is written and read from right to left, as opposed to English is... When you see the, the um, pronunciations, it's going to be written in red from, from left to right. Okay. So let me jump into this. It's uh, at the top, it says, Kaya, La'a, Am, Bashar, Wadam, Malachamath, Nawa, Kaya, Am, Sharyam, Washala, Yatyam, Washala, Yatyam, Am, Hamashalyam, Bacha, Shakat Haiwalam Haza Am Haracha Wat Ra Slak Slaki Harai Wat Ashara Bamara Wamyam. Okay, those were the symbols. All right, read it again. Now the pronunciations are down here Kaya La Am Bashar Wadam. Malachamath Noa Kaya Am Sharyam Shala Shala Washala Yatyam Am Hamashalyam Baha Shakat Haiwalam Haza Am Haracha Wath Haraiwath Aishara Ashara Bamara Wamyam. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this. So up here, get my highlights out. All right. So Kaya, Kaya. All right. So you know where it starts at. So top here is Kaya, as you see down there. So as you read across from right to left, you're going from the bottom here, from left to right. All right. So. Be yeah, some more words. So right here, we have here. Maybe some more. What done? What done? All right. I'm gonna throw a little bit, a few more up there. A second. So let me give you out a literal translation. If this was um word for word, what you'd be saying. All right. So right here, first line, Kaya la a am bashar wadam malachamath nawa kaya. All right. So then it'd be this first line down here. So the kaya will be yellow. Trying to do the first word. Right, do that. Difficult with me. There we go. There we go. A little malfunction in this. All good though. All right. So Israel. So here we have Kaya, Kaya here, and then what it means for, okay? So literal translation, first line, for not with flesh and blood we fight, okay? This right here is to say we fight. Right 
right there. Now up here, where you see Malachamath Noah, the word fight is in front of we. As you put this in this in this sense, you're using a pronominal pronoun. So in the grammar sense, you put the um the subject beforehand. So we're talking about fight. And then you involve in who, whether it be one or, or multiple people, you will put that afterwards. But here, just to make sense in English, you have to say we fight, but it's understood in Hebrew as fight we. Okay. I should have I should have put it like that. Um, but it's over. I, sh I should have put it that way. All right. So to be fight we, but I have it here just, just for understanding. We fight for with nobles and rulers. Okay. Make this a different color. Let's get the green going. Okay. So this would be for with nobles. Okay. So I got Kaya Am Sharyam. Now Sharyam could also represent princes, but it's also, you know, a representation of somebody that's in rulership, you know, dominating. You know, in the um you always have, especially like in ancient times, you have um people with wisdom that really that you know that that were in rulership. You didn't just have anybody sitting in a in a seat of power doing whatever they wanted to. This person had these people had to have some form of knowledge, something that they can instruct, something that some guidelines that they can follow. And it showed the people that they had the ability to lead them. Okay. All right. So we got another one. Let me put this one in a different color. This way to it. There we go. All right. So, right here, where you see Hamashalim, right? Now, Mashal would be the book of Proverbs, or just to say Proverbs, right? Which is wise sayings, or you could say clever sayings. Okay. So, this is saying for not. Let me put this in a different color. For not. Okay. So, kaya la a am, am. Okay. Here it says not with. But again, just to for understanding, for proper understanding, I put um for not with. Okay. All right. So, kaya la a am bashar wadam. Malacha Mathnawa Kaya Am Sharyum, right? For not with flesh and blood we fight, okay? For with nobles and rulers, let me give you that. And rulers. This one way too. Get back, doing it to me again. There you go. All right, so there we go. All right, so Kaya Am Sharyam Washala Yakyam. Okay, so and let me start back here. For with the nobles and rulers, I'm here is to say with 
Hamashalim, the clever sayings, right? So you think now um, you talk to somebody and it's not like they really know something, but the way they articulate things, the way they, they use certain um certain words, big words at that. You know, a lot of people, when they hear big words, they think they, they didn't have a wisdom, but a lot of times people use big words or they make it appear as though that they, they're that intelligent when you don't know something, you hear something for the first time, it sounds like uh, amazing to you. Like it's, it's an astonishment, but in this world, they, you know, they use a lot of different, different um, terms from different languages. A lot of stuff from Latin, from Greek, from different, from various languages they use, even in, in laws today, they put different languages in there. And it, it just sounds, it sounds so, so clever and smooth. You know, that's why um, this scripture is, it's a, it's a warning for us to be mindful of the, the type of entity we're dealing with, you know, we're not dealing with somebody that's that's dumb, but we're also not dealing with somebody that's you know that's righteous, and not just somebody, but people. The rulers of this world are not people that are dealing with righteous wisdom, right? They're dealing with dark knowledge, and we you know we a lot of times we we fall into these traps because we don't you know tend to dis, to research anything. We take everything for face value. Okay, Mr. White Man said. You know, sleeping with an animal is good. And I guess, hey, he 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 in power, so he got to know. That's how, that's the attitude of a lot of our people today. And it's like, wait a minute, hold on. You know, I ain't never look at no dog and say, you know, that, that dog, man, you know, let me go get some of that, that wolf thing, man, you know. But that's how the sick this world is, man. That's why you got to be up on the scriptures. You got to be on your toes daily, man. You, you can't, you can't stack up at all with the um, words of the most high. Is we always we already been pre warning these things to come, you know everything the law say not to do. This world, this society says it's okay to do, but I'm, I'm gonna keep it focused on this translation. This is just a note to throw out there for y'all. All right, so um, again we got Kaya, which is for la I, I'm with not not with. Bashar is flesh. Let me get out that word. Bashar. Sorry to do this with green. Bashar is flesh. All right. I don't know why I didn't highlight this one. All right, got it there. There we go. Okay, so for not with flesh and blood we fight, for with nobles and rulers with the clever clever sayings and darkness of this of the world, this with the spirits, the evils that which in places exalted, or you could say high in high places. You know, this is dealing with your your governments. You know, um, where the, where the laws get you know um. Where the laws actually come down from, because what we we see on the forefront, and we see bills come out, and a lot of times that's not even where they're coming from. Some things on a lower level, level yes, but those high bills like the the homosexuality bills, the, the alphabet community bills, those things come from high up. They pass them down, and they make it seem like you know lower delegates are just promoting these things when they come from high up, which means they're going to get pushed to this. It's going to happen, as we see now in the world. Right. Um, so this is this is just the uh, uh, word for word translation. It's, it's close. Just with it making sense that I'm, I'm throwing out there for y'all. All right. I'm gonna go into the actual scripture where it says. All right. So let me jump back at the symbols. This would be the word flesh. Let me make that green. Flesh. Okay. So here, Kaya for La A, not Am with Bashar, flesh, Wadam, and blood. Okay. So it's not a physical battle, is what this, this uh, scripture is saying. This is not a physical battle. This is on a higher level, you know, internal, spiritually. You know, you're dealing with, with demonic entities 
You know, it's, it's not it's not hard. It's not easy to comprehend. Just something as such as looking at your your, your arm, the, the little physical things. You know, this this is way above, like they say, way above your pay grade. You know, this is way above the, the surface level of this, of this world. This is why when people get into certain lifestyles and um, people in, in, in wickedness are ruling, you notice, man, um, things that, that normally would not be accepted in society, it's like it just becomes a norm. And that's because we're not dealing with just no, no ordinary people that's pushing these agendas. We're dealing with people that's dealing with some, some super demons, man, some straight up demonic spirits. And they know how to push these agendas. That's why if you're not up on point with the scriptures, with the law, statutes, and commandment, you'll fall, you'll fall in any hole that they throw out here, man. You just be you be out there with the um any any type of agenda, you know, with the uh, those the pro-lifers, the ones out there pushing a, a, a abortion and all of that stuff. Like I said, the um the alphabet community, the gay lesbian community, you be out there, you know, backing all that stuff up because you think, hey, you know, everybody's doing it. You know, so you just you just fall into that trap. But um once again, this is uh Ephesians 6 and 12. Now let me grab the actual scripture. The actual scripture says. All right. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 6 and verse 12. It says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness and high places, okay? That's going into what I was just explaining from the translation. It's not a, um, not a surface level thing we're dealing with. This is something extremely way up there that you got to know when you start seeing these signs and, and, and these things coming. That this, this is something, if you're not prepared for it, you will fall into these traps all the time, okay? So we, we got to be on our toes. We can't just let anything that comes our way just suck us into it like that. You know, we get back into, into this these different situations. And it's just like, hey, you know, it is what it is. Like, I just wipe my hands. If that's what they're doing, that's what they're doing. That's the new thing. And you can't you can't have that type of attitude, that type of spirit. You know, the most I don't want to hear none of that. Like I said, we've been pre-warned. So um, <clears throat> we close out. Uh, Start back from the top. So, Kaya la'a am bashar wadam malachamath nawa kaya am sharyam washalayakyam am hamashalyam bahashakath. Right, um, ha'aywalam haza am um, right here. Harachawath, Hariwath, Ashara, Bamarawamyam. Okay. And this right here is to say in places exalted. I'll be this word right here. But my Rawamium, okay, place is exalted. Or you could say high. That's what it says in the, in the scripture. In high places. Okay. Once again, I'm your Agbayana. Um, thanks for viewing my video. Please, you know, like, subscribe, drop me a comment. You know, let me know if there's any any scriptures in the New Testament, in the Apocrypha. Um, any book you want me to go through this that's biblically, you know, I'm willing to go through there. Because I, I do my diligence to go back, you know, um, research the words, put it together, go ahead, um, get the Hebrew text, you know, typed up and present it to y'all. All right. This was um, Ephesians chapter six, verse 12. And as I said earlier, Ephesians is a book that was translated from Greek to English. But, you know, I always like to go back into the Hebrew and, and get the um, get a different um, get, get a different understanding on what the scriptures are saying. All right. So with that being said, I'd like to say the water, Yahweh Bashama Mashiach Yahweh Shah, Barakata, for my Akim, that's for my brothers, 
and Washamar Thun. For my Akiwa, that's for my sisters, and your Akbayana. Shalom.